Hello everyone, welcome to my biology classes. So this is the part 2 of uh, the chapter plant kingdom. So here in this video I will be discussing about algae. And in next subsequent videos we'll go like, uh, first I'll make a video on pteridophytes, then gymnosperms, then angiosperms like that. Okay, uh, bryophytes, then pteridophytes, then gymnosperms, angiosperms like that I'll make the video. Okay, so in this video I'll only cover the algae part. Okay. So let's start with our topic that is algae. So let's see some characteristic features of algae. Okay, so simple uh, characteristic features are given in the slide. So I have, I'll just explain you. So they are simple, chlorophyll bearing means they are having green color pigment, thalloid like, autotropic means they make their own food, largely aquatic means they are mostly found in the aquatic habitat be it a freshwater or marine habitat okay and the next point is saying they they are, do not have vascular bundles means they do not have your xylem and phloem they do not have xylem and phloem you know what is xylem xylem that conducts water and phloem that conducts food okay they do not have the vascular tissues okay so the next point is saying they are found in various habitats so they are found in various type of habitats they can be found in soil also moist stones also wood soil etc soil soil two times i have given okay a uh, few form associated with fungi means this uh, this one line is uh, telling you about the symbiotic association okay symbiotic association means both are in which two individuals are uh, mutually benefited with each other okay so they are associated with fungi okay the algae associate with the fungi let me show you the algae are symbiotically associated with fungi they are mutually benefited okay in our previous chapter i have uh, explained you about lichens okay so they are mutually benefited one will provide food to the other and one will provide shelter to the other okay and next one is algae are also mutually associated with the animal called slot beer okay understanding okay so what is the mutual uh, relationship between the algae and a slot beer is that the algae uh, has a surface to live in okay and the uh, slot beer can easily camouflage with that green color okay from their predators okay so let's see a picture of a slot beer so you can see green color algae okay so they can easily protect from the predators okay so they can easily camouflage with the environment <clears throat> getting my point so moving on to the next slide do you know uh, about the phenomenon called eutrophication okay you can see in this picture okay so you have seen like this in your uh, in your environment somewhere okay eutrophication is nothing but enrichment okay high in nutrition especially the nitrogen and phosphorus so over abundance of nutrition nutrition means high in nutrition level so the nitrogenous content and the phosphorus content is higher in a particular uh, lake or a pond okay that leads to a process called eutrophication means it is also known as algal bloom algal bloom B L O O M means what happened here the algae, uh, algae used to grow in such a huge number that they do not provide any other organism to live in they, they are fishes and uh, aquatic plants animals small insects uh, won't survive there because of lack of oxygen because all the oxygen the algae used to take up understanding algae feed on the nutrients so algae used to feed on this particular nutrients when the nitrogen and phosphorus content increases so the uh, algae started to grow by taking up nutrients from that particular this thing 
okay and grows spread in number and turning the water green so they used to multiply in huge amount understanding this is a phenomenon called eutrophication which is caused by the algae okay therefore it is known as algal bloom understanding <coughs> this is the term eutrophication overabundance of especially nitrogen and phosphorus overabundance of nutrients okay okay moving on to the next slide so you have to know few points like example for like multiple choice question uh, these are example from your ncrt books so direct question used to come in your neat examination like the sizes of algae okay the mi microscopic unicellular algae the example of microscopic unicellular single cell algae that is called as chlamydomonas understanding then colonial form that is called volvox means not single one they lives in colony okay they lives in colony they lives in group of colony okay that is called volvox okay filamentous form filament like like this thread like okay eulothrix and spirogyra understanding this example you have to know then massive plant body kelps okay figure i'll show you in the next subsequent slide just you have to know the example microscopic unicellular is chlamydomonas example colonial form example is volvox filamentous form eulothrix and spirogyra massive plant body example is kelps understanding so this you have to know the examples are very important so moving on to the next slide so we'll see the reproduction in algae so we'll see the three different types of reproduction vegetative reproduction sexual reproduction asexual reproduction okay different modes of reproduction we'll see in algae so first let us see this asexual mode of reproduction is by production of different types of spores so they form spores commonly known as zoospores okay in asexual reproduction they form spores that is known as zoospores okay in vegetative reproduction is through fragmentations okay and sexual reproduction is the formation of two different gametes fusion of two different gametes okay that fuse together undergoes fertilization and forms the zygote okay understanding asexual through zoospores vegetative reproduction through fragmentation sexual reproduction to formation of by formation of gametes clear so moving on to the next slide uh, we'll see the types of sexual reproduction it can have three different types of sexual reproduction okay so let us see point wise three different types i have already told you these gametes can be so their gametes like their gametes can be so two different types of gametes i told you know one obviously female one obviously male so here it is saying the gametes can be flagellated and similar in size so the gametes the male and female gametes can be similar in size and flagellated means they are having flagella like this okay as example in eurothrix and chlamydomonas or can be non flagellated also so they can be non flagellated also like this without any flagella male gametes and female gametes suppose this is male this is female this is male this is female they can have the same size but in some they might have flagella in in some they might not have flagella okay if they do not have flagella then means they they are non motile but alike in size but their sizes are same like here in case of flagellated one you have example of eurothrix and chlamydomonas in case of non flagellated one you have an example of spirogyra okay such reproduction is called isogamous isogamous mode of reproduction where both the gametes are of same size be it they are flagellated or non flagellated okay getting my point uh, flagellated gametes 
non flagellated gametes but their size are same therefore they are called isogamous clear clear my point moving on to the next type of sexual reproduction that is where the male gametes is smaller than the female gametes so suppose this is male female i am making male gametes are smaller and female gametes are, is bigger clear so this type of reproduction is called anisogamous anisogamous means their sizes are different okay you can see this in chlamydomonas is it clear to you all here there is difference in sizes okay so next mode of reproduction let us see the fusion of big immobile female gametes so i am making female here male here it is saying big immobile means it does not have any kind of flagella and all it is non movable okay with tiny motile male gametes so male gamete is small and having some flagella motile means they can move easily okay so they are called oogamous oogamy you can see this in volvox and fucus understanding so uh, don't get confused i think you are getting confused with uh, this uh, isogamous uh, and oogamous are you getting confused isogamous means different uh, uh, same size okay they are having same size and here female is bigger one male is smaller one okay and here female are bigger one male is a smaller one but here one functional difference is also there here there was no functional difference both were same if they are motile they will be motile if they are non motile they will be non motile okay but here the female are non motile and the males are motile they are movable okay there two difference can be seen in oogamy oogamy the difference in size and difference in function also is it clear to you all isogamous and isogamous oogamy oogamous you can say okay you can say oogamous also <clears throat> clear everyone so moving on to the next slide so here few example edible about edible fungi uh, sorry edible algae why i am saying fungi sorry for that so uh, edible algae will discuss see we get in uh, packets also you can buy online also if you want to taste okay algae used as food also like porphyria laminaria sargassum okay so this porphyria uh, like a seaweed like in a rice roll they used to the um chinese korean used to have no this and like this also they can uh, dishes are prepared you can watch some recipes on this then this is sargassum this is laminaria okay understanding cholera and spirulina this is cholera powder this is spirulina okay they are uh, they are found in packaging in uh, you can find in amazon also okay so they are rich in protein and used as a supplement for the space traveler so they are very rich in protein so if you have any protein deficiency you can have this so especially the space traveler used to uh, carry this as a supplement okay understanding the edible algae porphyria laminaria sargassum and all okay so examples you have to know which are edible algae okay moving on to the next slide so few uses of algae so we have discussed uh, we have already discussed what the uh, the characteristics what are the types of algae their sizes their reproduction we have also discussed about the edible algae okay and few points we'll discuss here so half a uh, few facts we'll discuss half of the total carbon dioxide fixation on the earth is carried out by algae through photosynthesis half of the carbon dioxide fixation okay these are facts you have to know understanding next point it is saying some marine brown algae the marine brown algae like algae and red algae like carrageen these are example of brown and red algae 
okay algin and carrageen produces large amount of hydrocolloids means water holding substances these two are algae which produce large amount of water holding substance they have the capacity to produce okay so large amount of hydrocolloids they have the capacity to produce okay gallium and lacerlaria okay produces agar which are used in your making of jellies and creams okay the jelly belly you know so it is made up of agar so from uh, where you are getting that agar from this gallium and lacerlaria these two are algae types of algae is it clear so moving on to the next slide so now we'll see the division of algae so chlorophyca pheophyca and rhodophyca okay we'll discuss one by one in details the algae are divided into three main classes number 1 is chlorophyca pheophyca and rhodophyca okay so let us start with chlorophyca they are also known as your green algae okay so they are basically unicellular single celled they can be colonial form also <coughs> filamentous form also so they can live in unicellular individual organism lives in colony also okay and filamentous also they can be any three okay they are usually grass green the color is generally green because they are green in color they are grass green as a result of dominant pigment called so they are having dominant pigment of chlorophyll a and b that's why they are grass green in color the pigments are localized in definite chloroplast so we know that green color pigment chlorophyll is present in the chloroplast okay most of the members have one or more storage bodies called pyrenodes noids so they are having storage body inside their uh, body so they are having storage uh, cells they are called as pyrenoids that contain protein based starch so they are having protein based starch found in the chloroplast so generally algae are high in proteins that you have to know so where it is present in a specialized cell called pyrenoids okay they are having rigid cell wall the outer one is made up of pectos the outer one is made up of pectos and the inner one is made up of cellulose we know the cell uh, cell wall of plant is made up of cellulose but here one more outermost layer is there that is made up of pectos in case of algae okay and flagella in the one which are having flagella are having 2 to 8 uh, numbers of flagella okay <clears throat> is it clear okay moving on to the next slide so their vegetative reproduction usually usually takes place by the formation of different types of spores or fragmentation so uh, in overall characteristics of algae we have already discussed that vegetative reproduction is through fragmentation so here also uh, fragmentation and sexual reproduction through zoospores we have already discussed about that sexual mode of reproduction can be isogamous also and isogamous also oogamous also we have already discussed about this in details okay So examples of green algae are Chlamydomonas, Volvox, Eulothrix, Spirogyra. Okay, we'll see some pictures so that it is it becomes more interesting. So this is Chlamydomonas having two flagella. See, flagella is there. Pyrenoids also you can see storage body for the storage of proteins. Okay, in the form of starch. Okay. so these are uh, chlamydomonas we'll see uh, volvox which is also known as globe algae globe algae okay volvox okay so moving on to the next slide this is eulothrix eulothrix are also known as pond wool wool pond wool eulothrix are also known as pond wool 
called right see woolly type of texture it gives <coughs> moving on to the next slide spirogyra is also known as pawn silk see silk type structure it is giving thread like structure therefore they are known as filamentous okay eurothrix and spirogyra are known as what filamentous algae getting my point so coming to the next uh, second uh, type of algae that is pheophyca that is brown algae basically they are marine okay we we can't see them in fresh water they are in a particular marine habitat they can be simply branched also filamentous form also or profusely branched means full of branch structure okay caps like for example in caps we'll see some figures they are basically branch type of structure so now we'll see the pigment present okay pigment presents are chlorophyll a c xanthophylls carotenoids so in green algae only two types of pigment we have seen one is uh, chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b so here we have seen four different types of pigment that is chlorophyll a c xanthophylls and carotenoids clear and here the food is stored in the form of complex carbohydrate okay so in the form of laminarin and manitone tone manitone okay so moving on to the next slide the vegetative uh, vegetative cells have a cellulosic wall usually covered on outside by a gelatinous coating like algae so the cells are having a outermost coating that is made up of algae okay so the next one uh, that is gelatinous coating of algae okay they have outermost covering of gelatinous coating the brown algae i'm talking about okay here flagella can be two in number okay the next one in addition to plastids so in addition to plastids also the uh, uh, photoplast contains a centrally located vacuoles and nucleus so instead of plastid also we know that they are all obviously they will have plastids because plastids will give the pigments no the colors okay different different colors in the plants or algae okay so instead of that also they are having uh, centrally located uh, vacuoles and nucleus like in plants okay so they are having that okay the plant body is usually attached to the substratum by a hole fast so they do not have they are having root like structure but they are not exactly true roots so they are named as hole fast so to attach to the substratum they are known as root like thing only so they are known as hole fast and has a stalk like stem that a stalk is there the uh, the stip and a frond frond a leaf the leaf like appearance that is known as frond leaf like photosynthetic organ so here the stem is known as stalk the hole fast is uh, like the root is basically known as uh, hole fast but uh, and the leaf uh, leaf like thing is known as frond but they are not true roots they are not true stems they are not true leaves okay understanding <clears throat> moving on to the next slide so see the structure of laminaria and fucus okay so they are having hole fast stip and front so they are plant like only but they are not uh, demarcated as true roots and roots stems and leaves okay so they have the particular different name has been given to them okay is it clear moving on to the next slide <clears throat> the sexual mode of reproduction asexual mode of re uh, reproduction is more in most brown algae is by biflagellated zoospores so zoospores we we have already discussed that asexual mode of reproduction is by zoospores only vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation sexual reproduction by isogamous and isogamous and oogamous we have already discussed that okay so these are few examples sargassum laminaria fucus as uh, few examples of your brown algae clear 
so this uh, mode of reproduction are you can give the same points in all the three types of algae the sexual asexual and vegetative okay so let's see some picture ectocarpus brown algae this is dipsy tangles which are known as laminaria okay these are edible algae we have already discussed no so you can see some uh, recipes on this how to cook laminaria like that okay so next is sargassum this is also an edible algae okay edible brown algae this is fucus not ficus this is fucus the spelling mistake f u c u s okay fucus <coughs> these are also brown algae okay moving on to the next slide the last one rhodophyca these are red algae red algae means they will have red pigment obviously are phycoerythrin pigment is there in their body okay so this is the pigment r phycoerythrin is present in the previous two uh, types of algae the different different uh, types of pigment we have already discussed you can make differentiating column and you can write on in your notes okay most of this are marine so they are basically marine with great concentration found in the warmer areas so basically they are found in, in more warmer areas okay they are found in both well lighted region close to the surface of the water means they are they need sunlight basically more warmer area it is saying no more brighter areas okay and also at great depth in ocean where relatively lie L uh, little light seeps in okay they are also found in the areas where very little light also is there okay at the beneath the ocean okay floor so understanding basically they prefer warmer area to survive to sustain marine habitat and warmer area so they are do not have flagella this also is one differentiating point the number of flagella present okay is it clear to you all no flagella in red algae moving on to the next slide the food is stored as floridan starch so it is stored in the form of floridan starch which is very similar to amylopectin and gly uh, glycogen in structure so basically the structure of floridan starch is, is somewhat similar to glycogen and amylopectin okay so here the food is stored in the form of floridan starch okay so vegetative mode of reproduction through fragmentation sexual mode of reproduction through the three different types of uh, mode okay oogamous isogamous and all okay okay then let us see the example gallidium and glacilaria porphyra and all okay so these are the example of some red algae so gallidium is this picture you can see red algae so beautiful gallidium and porphyra two only pictures i have given so you can search in uh, google also few uh, pictures of your red algae it will be interesting for you all also so this algae part was bit longer so uh, we'll come up with the next part in the next video so that's all for today's lecture thank you thank you for your patient hearing